Buddy, this is Romeo the Lynx back here with what's probably hopefully going to be a pretty funny video. Today we're going to be looking at the top 50 dumbest laws in each state, which in total there's 50 because there's 50 states, you know. So I, I don't know what to expect because I haven't read these. So I don't know. Now I, I had to scroll to the bottom because for some reason it started at the bottom of the alphabet. So this is where I'm going to be looking at it from. Um, I don't know what to expect. There, there could be something stupid in here, something silly, something dirty, I don't know. But, uh, first we're looking at the state of Alabama. No silly string allowed, wow. Thought silly string was all fun and games. Think again, in Mobile, it's illegal to keep, store, use, manufacture, sell, offer for sale, give away, or handle any spray string, snap pops, or other matter or substances similar Huh. I don't know. I wonder why. What's what's wrong with uh, Silly String? Maybe because it's flammable? I don't know. That's kind of an interesting one. What's our next one? Uh, let's see. Alaska. Alaska has some pretty messed up laws. So, you know. Don't waste your moose. <laughs> see what I mean? They don't mess around with moose in Alaska. If a hunter takes a moose, certain parts of the animal, including the head, heart, liver, kidney, stomach, and hide, are legally required to be salvaged for human use. So in other words, you're basically saying if you kill a moose, you have to either hang it, like hang the head on the wall or eat the meat or anything like that. Like, is that what you're saying? Because that's... I mean, sometimes, isn't that really mostly the purpose of hunting something? Like, you, you, I mean, I don't usually, I mean, yeah, it's heard of for people to just go around and hunt something for fun and not do anything with it, but it's like, you kind of need to be hunting for a purpose, really. I mean, that, that's not the dumbest law, actually. I mean, it's like, yeah, I mean, if you're going to kill something, make sure you use it. Like, I'm, I'm, that makes sense, and I'm not going to diss that one. Arizona... No spitting on the sidewalk. <laughs> well, I mean, that's kind of common sense. Next time you're in Arizona, make sure your manners are up to scratch. In Goodyear, it's illegal to spit on a public sidewalk, crosswalk, or highway, or in a park or public building. Well, what's the punishment if you do? If you do such a thing, like, what, what are you going to get? Jail time? Uh, no. Uh, like, so what, you want me to carry on a cup to spit in? Because that's kind of confusing. Uh, Arkansas. Oh gosh, you don't even know with Arkansas. You must pronounce Arkansas correctly. <laughs> I didn't know that was actually a law. <laughs> you always hear people make jokes saying Arkansas. And it's like, pe they, people in Arkansas just get so mad over the fact you pronounce it wrong. I mean, I, dude, people pronounce Illinois wrong. They say Illinois is like... <laughs> but they don't have a law against it. While not technically illegal, Arkansas has passed legislation discouraging incorrect pronunciation of its name. Better not, better not try to pronounce Arkansas phonetically. The provision specifically says that pro pronunciation with the accent on the second syllable with the sound of A in man and the sounding of the terminal S is an innovation innovation to be discouraged that is so stupid so it's not actually a legal restriction though it looks like so it's not necessarily a law but it's i find that funny california no eating frogs that die in frog jumping contests what the flip <laughs> california takes frog rights seriously according to state law a person is allowed to Possess any number of the frogs for frog jumping contests, but if a frog dies or is killed, it must be de destroyed as soon as possible and may not be eaten or otherwise used for any purpose. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that one, honestly. That that one's just out there. Uh, Colorado. No outdoor sofas. What? What? That's kind of a dumb one. That's actually pretty dumb. No outdoor sofas. You can't... Well, 
does that include your porch? Like, you can't put a couch on the porch with, an, like, an overhang or something? Like, with canopy cover? In certain sections of the University Hill neighborhood in Boulder... Oh, oh, so it may not be the entire state. A law was passed in 2001 to prohibit the use of the indoor furniture outside. No couches on front lawns or porches. Wow! Wow, according to the ordinance, the aim was to protect the public health, safety, and welfare of the city's residents. What, what? Okay, dude, that, that's a really stupid way to protect the health. That's your priority? Oh no, if you sit out in winter on your own couch, at your own discretion, you'll get sick. Are you basically saying the Colorado residents are dumb? And they can't just go outside and, and just and sit on their porch? And just like... Ugh. Look out in the street and just watch the traffic go by. Like, what? What? You? Uh, what do I have to do? Take my couch and move it to the windowsill and look outside. Like seriously, what? What the heck, Colorado? Connecticut. Oh, Connecticut. Town records can't be kept where liquor is sold. That is so random. Until two thousand two, it was illegal. Oh, so it's not anymore. In Connecticut, to store town records in locations where liquor is sold, it's not clear if any specific incident sparked sparked the initial passage of this law what's the point of that what is good old jimmy gonna get drunk and then just go find the town records i mean that's dude, there's no explanation for that I, I don't care there is no way you can explain that delaware i think everyone always forgets about delaware thought but actually pawnbrokers can't take artificial limbs yeah, I might sound stupid, but what is it? What is a pawnbroker? I don't know what that is. Here, it might might explain something here. Thought you might take a few bucks off your relative's old wooden leg. Don't be so sure in Delaware. It's illegal for a pawnbroker to take or receive as a pledge or pawn any artificial limb or wheelchair. Oh, so you can't pawn? Yeah, you can't pawn artificial limbs. Well, I okay, that one I can kind of get I can kind of understand that. Because to pawn us is to basically just sell for profit. Like in it's it's not black market, but it's basically like when you're pawning like if you pawn like a shotgun or like a rifle if you're at a pawn shop, it's not necessarily a illegal exchange. So I, I wouldn't pawn any artificial limbs either. I mean, I, I can kind of get behind that at least a little bit. Uh, Florida. Oh, Florida special. I don't know what's going to happen here. Accidental ban on all computers. What? Florida ran into a bit of trouble in 2013 when it accidentally banned all computers in the state. <laughs> what? A confusingly worded law designed to ban internet cafes involved in illegal gambling prompted a lawsuit arguing that the ban could be interp interpreted to apply to any internet connected device that is so stupid well i, I imagine they fixed it right well, let's, let's hope in that case if i go down to florida for vacation i can't bring my acer nitro 5 with me can can i i don't think i can do that no eating fried chicken with a fork in the state of georgia why georgia that's why why georgia you're a good state why would you do that that's so random don't bother trying to keep your fingers clean if you're devoting or devouring fried chicken in georgia what are you worried you're going to stick yourself with your prongs of the fork according to a gainesville proclamation passed in 1961 designed to promote gainesville as a poultry center it is illegal to eat fried chicken with a fork in 2009 a woman was arrested as a practical joke for violating the law but was later pardoned so is it a, is it a legit is it a legitimate law or no i'm confused a little bit so can you eat fried chicken with a fork in georgia i don't know actually but if, if that's the case if you actually can't well, it did say Gainesville, so it may not be the entire state, but it's so random, though. Hawaii. Billboards are illegal. Okay, you know what? I can 100% get behind this. If you're driving through Hawaii, you won't find anything blocking the state's 
gorgeous scenery. Billboards are illegal. Okay, well, that's not the reason I was thinking. Are, did they actually ban billboards just to uh, just to show the scenery, or did they actually get rid of billboards because they could intentionally be an endangerment to driving? Because that's, well, that's what my reasoning would have been. They're a road hazard, basically. You're supposed to be focusing on the road ahead of you and all that. Well, you shouldn't... I, and even then, they're really annoying because it's just a bunch of advertisements you don't need in your life. Like, seriously, I look over and, yeah, okay, there's a billboard there. Oh, uh, Mc, go to McDonald's today. And ironically, I'm actually doing that because that's literally what I'm eating for dinner. Um, <laughs> I'm so American. Um, but no, apparently... I mean, I, I, could, I could see why they would ban it, though, if that were the case. If Maybe that's why they banned it. It's just saying here that blocking the gorgeous scenery... If that's why, that's not necessarily the reason I would have thought. But, I mean, hey, at least they banned them. So, at least if I went to Hawaii, I wouldn't have to worry about that. Okay, Idaho. Cannibalism is illegal, except in extreme circumstances. Why? It should be... Wow. Most of us assume that eating fellow humans doesn't fly, but in Idaho, it's clarified in the law... Though the law also says it's a legitimate defense to have committed cannibalism under extreme life-threatening conditions as the only apparent means of survival. Or means of survival. Dude. Okay, yeah, sure, in the 1800s that would have been the case. But, you, you, yeah, it's 2021, dude. You don't think you'd be able to eat other people at all. That's so random. Okay, Illinois. Alright, it's illegal to dye baby chicks, other fowls, or rabbits. Huh. Want to give your pet a new look? Be careful what you do in Chicago. It's illegal to sell or display living baby chicks, ducklings, ghostlings, or other fowl or rabbits which have been dyed, colored, or otherwise treated so as it to impact to them an artificial color. That's... Okay. I don't know if I can get behind that one or not. I don't... What well, did it say Chicago again? So when it says a city, that throws me off. Is is it illegal in the state or no? That's, that's what I'm curious about. Even then, I could understand... Because maybe die could impact their health or something. Like, if you die an animal... I'm pretty sure you can't eat die. Or ingest it. I... I Maybe it impacts their health. I, I that one's just weird to me, kind of. That I don't understand why that's an implemented law. Well, well, you you know a situation had to have occurred where someone just died a little animal for this law to be a thing. Okay, Indiana. Yeah, by the way, I think my screen went darker because my phone's just a piece of crap. It loves to do that. PI is actually equal to three point two. What? Oh, pi. Oh, 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 the math. Why? 3.14159. Pi is a long, irrational number, and it's tough to remember. Maybe that's why the Indiana House of Representatives passed a bill in 1897 redefining the value of pi at 3.2. Thankfully for math students across the state, a mathemati mathematician intervented in the bill's stall stalled in the senate and never passed oh so it's not actually a law but it was attempted to be well okay honestly i don't i don't disagree with that law because it just makes your math a little bit easier i mean it's now it's just rounded you don't have to put like 3.14 nothing annoying like that it's just rounded to 3.2 even though it is um inaccurate you could still use that i mean i, I wouldn't mind that okay iowa what you got, Iowa? No buying cars and RVs on Sundays. What? Lots of states have laws that restrict various activity on Sundays, but in Iowa, it's illegal to sell automobiles or RVs on Sunday. Why specifically Sunday? Here's the thing. Okay, here's some common sense for like a working household family. They work in the week, and they got time on weekends to do whatever. Why a Sunday? That's a weekend. That's a time to actually do a sale. Because they're going to be working five days a week. So the only two days they have in the weekend, apparently they can't use, they have to go Saturday or, or nothing else. Oh, what? 
Okay, I am already seeing the top. Kansas, Kansas, I'm hating you right now. No ice cream on cherry pie. Dude, why? Kansas, Kansans don't mess around with their cherry pie. At one point, it was illegal in the state to top a slice of cherry pie with a scoop of ice cream. According to the Kansas Secretary of State, it's unclear how this law originated or whether it's still technically on the books. But fortunately for dessert lovers, it's not enforced. Oh, so it's not like you actually get a fine for hat. But even then, why cherry? It's so I love cherry pie. It's my favorite. But what about apple pie or pumpkin pie? Dude, Kentucky, no reptiles in religious services. What? If you're caught using a reptile in a religious service in Kentucky, you could face a fine of more than $50. This law likely originated to address the practice of snake handling, which developed in the early 20th century in some isolated churches. <sighs> I, I don't know whether to agree with that one or not. I, I, that one's just kind of weird, to be honest. Reptile... I don't know. That's really different. At a religious... Huh. I, I honestly don't know what to say about that one. Okay, Louisiana. They're kind of an oddball state, too. Bear wrestling is prohibited. <laughs> Next time you're looking for an adrenaline rush in Louisiana, maybe avoid wrestling a bear. Louisiana law states that individuals involved in bear wrestling matches defined as a match or contest between one or more persons and a bear for the purpose of fighting or engaging in a physical altercation are guilty of bear wrestling. So, wait, are you... So, did that just tell me bear wrestling is a criminal charge in the state of Louisiana? You can literally, if you go to prison, well, I don't know if you go to prison, but or if you get fined, uh, maybe I forgot, I'm just stupid, I'm not going to go back and read it. If you do that, and you go to, pr you go to jail for two years, is it literally going to be on your criminal record, wrestling a bear? <laughs> Dude, that is so stupid. <laughs> Why, though? That's so dumb. Okay. Uh, Maine. I don't know if I like... This. Uh, no dancing at a bar that sells alcohol unless the bar has a permit. That's a bar that sells alcohol. Don't all bars sell alcohol? Mostly. In Maine, dancing is prohibited at establishments that sell liquor unless the establishment has been issued a special am amusement permit. Better get your permit application ready. That's really random. Okay. Huh. I mean, maybe someone could get hurt. What state is this? Maryland. No cursing allowed. Okay, I can get behind this. All right. That's how my channel basically is. Watch your language in Maryland. In Rockville, it's illegal to prof profanely curse and swear or use obscene language upon or near any street, sidewalk, or highway within the hearing of persons passing by upon or along such street, sidewalk, or highway. Well, here's the thing. I mean, the majority of people with a brain would be courteous in public. Like, I mean, you wouldn't necessarily want to scream your head off like if someone was just walking by. You'd probably maybe pull someone aside where people can't hear you or just in the privacy of your own home, like, like express your anger. Huh, that's a really weird one, though. I can get behind it. That's just kind of courte courtesy, really. Massachusetts. You must sing the national anthem correctly. <laughs> Make sure you've got your wits about you when singing the national anthem in Massachusetts. According to state law, if a person plays, sings, or renders the Star-Spangled Banner in any public place, theater, motion picture hall, restaurant, or cafe, or at any public entertainment other than as a whole in separate composition or number without embellishment or addition in the way of national or other melodies can face a fine. In other words, singing the national anthem incorrectly could get you in trouble. Dude, that is so random. Well, I mean, I understand the patriotism and all that, but like, dude, it's overkill. That's not really free. Michigan, no intoxication on the train. Next time you're enjoying a night out in Michigan, you'd better think carefully about how you're going to get home. According to state law, it's illegal for a person in an offensive state of intoxication to enter or be 
or remain upon any railway train or inter interurban car as a passenger. But what about the conductors? Is that allowed? I don't know if that's allowed. Okay, Minnesota. Bingo is only allowed two days a week. <laughs> Until 2015, okay, so it's not anymore. Minnesota law limited nursing homes and senior centers to just two days of bingo per week. Even if you visited a nursing home resident, you were prohibited from playing bingo with them. Can't let things get too wild. Yeah, I guess the seniors do love their bingo. Oh, that's just so random. Mississippi. It's a crime to have more than one illegitimate child. Illegitimate. Define illegitimate child for me. Mississippi once passed a law once stipulating that any person who has already had an illegitimate child and again becomes the parent of an illegitimate child within the state is guilty of a misdemeanor punishable by fines, jail time, or both. That's just... Uh, I don't even know anymore at this point. Mississippi, they're there for that anyway. Missouri. Oh, great. Limitations on garage sales. Jefferson, Missouri has a strict attitude towards garage sales. It's legal to have more than two in a particular location during the course of, of one year. And a garage sale can't last longer than three days and must be held within certain hours. That, dude, what is so bad about a garage sale? Like, you can't just, you can't box up all your stuff and, and let the public take it from you? I mean, what if you have, like, a bunch of stuff you just don't use anymore? You can't, is it illegal just to sell it? Oh my gosh, Missouri, what is wrong with you? Okay, then. Well, it did say in Jefferson specifically. Uh, what is this? Montana. Live entertainment must remain on stage while performing. If you're a live performer in Billings, you need stamina. You're... Required by law to remain on stage throughout the duration of your performance. The law states that no entertainer or performer, whether male or female, shall be permitted to leave such platform or area while entertaining or performing. I love how they had to specify male or female. Well, you think the law applies to really anybody. That, that's what I would think. Why, though? I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess exiting the stage. I mean, I guess that's the point of a stage is really just to get people's attention. Nebraska, no marriage if you have a ven venereal disease. It's illegal to get married in Nebraska if you have venereal disease, though counts have later clarified that if the other spouse is aware of the disease at the time of marriage, they can't try to and move the marriage later on these grounds. Use protection. <laughs> wow. So if you have an STD or something, apparently in Nebraska, you can't get married unless the other person is aware of it. I, you know what? I'm kind of, I'm kind of behind that law because last thing I would want is to get married and then just look later on learn that they have a disease even after doing that. Nevada. No lying down on the sidewalk. <laughs> In Reno, Nevada, it's illegal to sit down or lie down on a public sidewalk. The law states that no person shall sit or lie down upon a, a public sidewalk or upon a blanket, chair, stool, or any other prop object placed upon a public sidewalk in the downtown Reno Regional Center. Why? Is it because it's like, is it like so busy with foot traffic and stuff? What about, what about if there's a parade? Like you just can't, you can't take out a camping chair and watch that? New Hampshire. Pregnant women can technically commit murder. What the frick? I never thought I would read that sentence. In 2017, New Hampshire passed an anti-homicide law defining a 20-week fetus as a person, clarifying that the law did not apply to pregnant women who might need an abortion. However, legisl <laughs> legislators quickly amended the law after it became clear that its vague language could have permitted pregnant women to commit any murder without consequences. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Thank you, New Hampshire, for, like, getting rid of that law. That's really bad. 
People will take that the wrong way, knowing the general public. New Jersey. No bulletproof vests while committing murder. <laughs> that is so stupid, dude. If you're planning to commit a serious crime in New Jersey, leave your bulletproof vest at home. According to the state law, it is a third-degree crime to wear a body vest while engaged in the commission of or an attempt to commit or or flight after committing or attempting to commit murder, manslaughter, robbery, sexual assault, burglary, kidnapping, criminal escape, or assault. <laughs> so you're basically saying, oh, sure, you can kill someone, but you can't have a bulletproof vest on. That's what you're saying, basically. Even then. What if, well, okay, here's the thing. What if you're in public, well, I wouldn't know why you'd be wearing a bulletproof vest anyway, but what if you're in public and some some dude, like, just pulls a gun on you, and you basically have no choice but to fight back? You're just backed into a corner, you can't do anything, and you have to fight back. Well, what, what are you supposed to do? Take, it'll be like, oh, hang on, let me take my vest off first, and then kill him. Like, what? Okay. Oh, that's really weird. These, I, I, I knew, I meant what I said when I said these are weird. New Mexico... Idiots can't vote. Wow. For over a century, New Mexico law stipulated that idiots, which, I mean, idiots is a real word, so that's not to be mean to anyone. That's literally a word meaning, like, slow mental growth, were ineligible to vote. In 2016, the discriminatory language which referred to mentally disabled people was finally repealed. Well, even then, a mentally disabled person should have every right to, uh, to vote. Like, say an autistic person wants to vote. I mean, that, they should have every right. That's an American, you're an American citizen. That's my, that's how I look at it. I don't like to look at that picture. New York, no mask wearing unless you're at a party. Unless you're at a gathering that's received proper approval. It's illegal to New York to be masked or in any manner disguised by unusual or unnatural attire or facial alteration well how's that working out for you right now new york how's that working for you now with um the cheese touch going around you know you kind of have to wear a mask really you don't got a choice now and granted this is probably posted maybe a year or two ago so this is probably like too ahead of its time or something north carolina no meetings if members are in costume in North Carolina, it's illegal to hold a meeting or demonstration while wearing a mask, hood, or other costume. The law sounds random, but it was likely passed to crack down on Ku Klux Klan activities in the state. You know, that would make sense. That that would be a little bit acceptable. It's just really, really, like, unheard of, though. North Dakota... You need permission to exterminate a pigeon... Wow! I never thought people would stoop that low. Pigeons can be annoying, but in North Dakota, you need permission to exterminate one. State law holds that no person, firm, or corporation shall exterminate pigeons or other harmful wild birds without first having obtained a permit from the Fargo Health Department. So basically, you're saying you gotta go to a law firm, law firm and then ask the person, hey, um, is, uh, I need a proper approval. May I uh, kill this pigeon that's on my front porch? And then you go home. Shut up. And then you go and, you, and they say, sure, go ahead. And you come back and the pigeon's already gone. Ohio. If your dangerous animal escapes, you have to report it to the authorities. <sighs> Again, this is really self-explanatory. Next time you're in Grand Rapids, Ohio, be careful with your foreign animal. The law requires that the owner or keeper of any member of a species of the animal kingdom that escapes from the owner's or keeper's custody of control that and that is not indigenous to this state or it presents a risk of serious physical harm to persons or property must report the escape to the authorities within one hour. Dude, that's really messed up. I mean, sure, if you have, like, a pit bull or something, I'm not entirely sure how that would work, because it's, I mean, it's your dog. I don't know. Oklahoma. No eavesdropping. Okay, yeah, that's this is just getting out of hand. 
Nosy people might be wise to avoid Oklahoma. According to state law, every person guilty of secretly loitering about a building with intent to overhear discourse therine and to repeat or publish the same to vex, annoy, or injure others is guilty of a misdemeanor. Well, you know, I, everyone hates eavesdroppers, though, so I honestly I honestly don't blame Oklahoma for that. Oregon, no practicing occult arts. If you want your fo fortune told, you won't find it in Yamhill, Oregon. It's illegal there and practice occult arts, defined as fortune-telling, astrology, phrenology, palmistry, clairvoyance, mesmerism, spiritualism, or any other practice or practices generally recognized to be unsound and unscientific, whereby an attempt or pretense is made. Honestly, Oregon, I gotta agree with you on that. I mean, because really it's just pseudoscience. It makes no sense. You can't, you can't just, like, say random words and make random hand motions, and all of a sudden you know your future. It's just not how it works. I mean, it's, it's, it, there's just, there's no science, you can't have a science behind it, how, what's going to lie ahead of you in your life. I mean, seriously, it, 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 it's seriously, I mean, I find astrology just kind of, I don't believe in it, honestly. I'm giving my opinion out there. I don't believe in any of it. Pennsylvania. No bartering infant children. What the heck? If you live in Pennsylvania, don't try selling your child. State law stipulates that a person is guilty of a misdemeanor of the first degree if he deals in humanity by trading, bartering, buying, selling, or dealing in infant children. Dude, that is so messed up. Yeah, it's illegal to sell your child. Well, no crap. Like, dude, you would think... You'd, you'd think this would be the case. Rhode Island. Biting off someone's limb could e could earn you 20 years in prison. Wow, you don't say. In Rhode Island, you can face up to 20 years in prison if you put out an eye, slit the nose, ear, or lip, or cut off, bite off, or disable any limb or member of another. <sighs> That's basically assault. Like, third degree assault. Like, almost murder. Because that's basically torture. I mean, oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, it, you go to prison if you cut this person's nose off. Well, yeah. Well, what if they have consent? Like, oh, cut my nose off. People are just so messed up. Uh, South Carolina. No seducing unmarried women. In South Carolina, a law once made a man guilty of a misdemeanor. If he seduced an unmarried woman using deception and promise of marriage, the law was repealed in 2016. Dude, okay, yeah. The, okay, I don't even I don't even have words for this anymore. Tennessee. You can't hold public office if you've been in a duel. <laughs> what? According to the Tennessee Constitution, it's illegal to hold public office. If a person does any of the following, fight a duel or knowingly be the bearer of a challenge to fight a duel or send an ex or accept a challenge for that purpose or be an aider or abitur in fighting a duel. So if you go ex exchange like bl not blows, but like if you um, participate in a duel with swords, no, you can't run in public. You can't run office. It's OK. <laughs> Uh, Texas, you can get married by proxy. In Texas, marriages by proxy are perfectly legal. In other words, if you have a legitimate reason for absence, like military service, you can send any, you can send someone to get married in your place, as long as you have all the right documentation. You know, I'm not going to disagree with that. I'm not necessarily going to, I mean, Texas is a huge state, obviously. I'm not going to disagree with that. I mean, if, if you are separated from someone legitimately, that you should still be able to marry that person. I honestly, that's okay. That's honestly, 
I find that okay. Utah, it's illegal to cause a catastrophe. <laughs> In Utah, it's illegal to cause a catastrophe. State law defines a catastrophe as widespread injury or damage caused by weapons of mass destruction, explosion, fire, flood, avalanche, or building collapse. So basically, in other words, it's illegal to bomb somewhere. <laughs> Utah, you make it all too clear, dude. <laughs> yeah, let's put it within our laws that you cannot cause catastrophe. Well, no, no. Vermont, no forbidding people from putting up clotheslines. It's illegal in Vermont to prohibit clotheslines. The law forbids regulations that prohibit clotheslines or other energy devices based on renewable resources. So basically, you can't tell someone that they can't hang their laundry out to dry in the late Sunday afternoon. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay, alright. Uh, Virginia. No hunting on Sundays unless you're killing raccoons. <laughs> so you can't go hunting on a Sunday, but you can kill raccoons all you want. Those pesky guys can just die. In Virginia, it's legal to hunt or kill any wild bird or wild animal, including any nuisance species on Sundays. However, it is permit it is permissible to kill raccoons. Well, wow, poor raccoons. They probably they if if they knew that this was a thing, they feel discriminated against, dude. Like, oh, sure. You no, know, you can kill us any time of day. But no, you can't you can't go hunt a buck on a Sunday. Sorry. I swear, man. Okay. Washington. It's illegal to kill Bigfoot. <laughs> Bigfoot hunters, beware. Skamania County, Washington passed a law in 1969 deeming the slang of Bigfoot to be a felony and punishable by five years in prison. The law was later amended, designating Bigfoot as an endangered species. I mean, I can't even get into the fact. Like, I, I believe cryptids kind of exist in the paranormal, but it's like, you don't know what to think if you haven't seen anything, you know? But uh, Washington, I guess they love Bigfoot up there. West Virginia. No lewd and lascivious behavior before marriage. In 1931, West Virginia passed a law banning lewd and lascivious cohabitation and conduct before marriage. The law was finally repealed in 2010. Wow, why West Virginia? Wow. You can't do what you want with your lover? Like, wow, man. That's... Just mean. It's poor guys. Wisconsin. I mean, at least they repealed it, though. Cheese standards are regulated. Wisconsin takes its cheese seriously. I mean, it was the cheese state. I mean, it still is, but people call it the Badger State, too. State law requires that cheese labeled as Wisconsin certified premium grade A, or uh, grade 8A meats, meet a certain standard. It must be fine, highly pleasing, and free from undesirable flavors and odors <laughs> wow they actually had to take it as far as make it a legitimate law in the state of wisconsin because apparently cheese is just it just sometimes just won't taste good <laughs> and our last state wyoming no intoxicated skiing <laughs> No drunk skiing in Wyoming. State law holds that no person shall move uphill or any passenger tramway or use any ski slope or trail while such person's ability to do so is impaired by the consumption of alcohol or by the use of any illicit controlled substance or other drug. <sighs> that's, even then, it's basically uh, drinking in a public place, which is mostly illegal in, in majority of states. Oh, gosh. Well, you guys didn't include the other territories like Virgin Islands or Puerto Rico or Northern Mariana Islands or Guam or American Samoa. But no, we'll just 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 put the states there. I mean, even then, they kind of run differently than the actual contiguous states. So, it's all right. Well, you guys have seen it here. So these states have, honestly, some really messed up laws. Comment which one you guys think is the weirdest and which one is the most tame. Personally, I have to... I think Maryland's, the no cursing law, is okay. Because that's out of, honestly out of a courtesy. Like, you don't want to, like, overhear someone just cussing a ton. I mean, that's just, just being 
like nice basically. And I thought I thought the one that was most ridiculous. Oh, Tennessee was pretty weird, but mm, I I thought Utah's was honestly the the weirdest one. Yeah, no causing catastrophe. <laughs> you would think that would be common sense anywhere, but no, apparently not in Utah. Apparently someone's done so that they had to actually take it as far as put it into their legislature and pass it as a law. Well, you guys have seen it here. If you guys enjoy content like this, be sure you guys subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything like this. Uh, I apologize for not uploading it a little bit. Uh, I've started back up on school, so... Obviously, I've been busy with that, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure, uh, maybe, maybe next time we'll uh, look at dumbest laws in every country. Maybe, maybe we'll look at that. That'll be a pretty long video, actually, like maybe two hundred something laws or so. That'll be that'd be something pretty interesting. Um, maybe we'll include like Canadian provinces and stuff like that. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.